In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install TeamViewer in Windows 11. So if you need to download and install TeamViewer for whatever reason, this video will show you exactly how start to finish. First, you want to open up a web browser. I've got Google Chrome open, but you can use any web browser. Now, what I recommend you do is go to google.com and once you're here, just do a search for TeamViewer. So once you've made that search and you've typed in TeamViewer, the TeamViewer website should appear. Now, make sure you only download this from the TeamViewer website. So click on the first website and then make sure you're on here teamviewer.com. If you're on teamviewer.com, you're all good to go. You can then click free download and then download here Team Viewer free. Click download now and select Windows here. Once you've selected Windows, scroll down even more and now you need to download the correct client. So do you need support from somebody via Team Viewer or do you want to control somebody else's screen and give support? I'm going to take a guess and assume that most of you that are watching this video, you want to receive support from somebody else. So if you've got a problem and somebody else is coming onto your computer using TeamViewer to fix it, you want to download the quick support client. So download for 64-bit or 32-bit. Most of you, if you don't know what bit your computer is, it's going to be 64-bit. So go ahead and click on that. Once you click on it, it will then download the TeamViewer installer. Now this is safe. Don't worry. If you've got it from the teamviewer.com website, everything will be fine and I'll run through it and show you what to do. So it will then download that installer if you're on chrome there'll be a download icon in the top right you can go ahead and click on that and then open team viewer if not you can go ahead and search and just go to your search bar and type in downloads and then you can go ahead and go to your downloads and it will then be here so here is team viewer which we can then open once you've opened the team viewer installation wizard you need to accept the end user agreement and then click continue and now you've got TeamViewer installed and now you can enter in a session code to receive support. So whoever's on the other side of your phone call or whoever you need support from, they will have a session code, which you can go ahead and just enter here. Alternatively, they might ask for an ID and a password. If they do, then your ID is here and your password is here. Just remember when you're finished with TeamViewer, you want to reset your password and change it to something else just so nobody else can access your computer. So that's how you can install TeamViewer in Windows 11. I hope that quick video did help you out.